Hello, this registration tutorial video is for the group registration process. This is the first step in registering your group to attend the Latch Leaders Convention. Uh, from our main website, uh, if you latch2leaders.com, if you go to convention and come down to registration and click that, you will see uh, several uh, links to forms that are very helpful in gathering the information that you'll need for your students and your adults in your hotel rooms. Uh, and there's also some new forms here that are some tracking progress forms for some of our year-round events that you might find very helpful as well. Uh, to get to the login page uh, to start your registration process, uh, right here on the middle of the page is a link for the local group leader login page or from convention you also have the same link here uh, that you can choose. Uh, when you get to this, if you enter the information that was provided to you for your group uh, login ID, and the password. You'll be able to enter that information and get logged in. Make sure for the password that you don't have caps lock on because it is case sensitive. Uh, if you do have a challenge with the password uh, not working, please let us know and we'll uh, double check everything for you to make sure you have the right information and uh, be able to get you logged in. So after you've hit, uh, entered the information, you click login and it will take you to this welcome page that's the main menu uh, for the registration portal. Uh, you'll be able to double check to make sure it will say welcome uh, into your church name, your group name. It will also tell the location of the convention site that you're attending, so I want to make sure all of that is correct. Uh, one neat thing that we've got this year is the early bird registration. Uh, from December 1 through January 6, uh, the registration fee is $40. $40. Uh, from anybody registered January 7 or later until the deadline, it's $45. So make sure you get everybody registered uh, that's going to be attending uh, to save those few dollars on the registration. Uh, this first step of the registration process is the group registration. Uh, when we click on that tab, uh, you'll notice that the for those of our uh, groups that have attended in the past, you'll see that this page looks a, a little bit different from what it has in the past. Uh, we did a uh, an overhaul of the system this year and. Uh, made a lot of changes to it, to the look of it, some to the functionality of it. We've made it much more mobile friendly. So if you're doing this on a smartphone or a tablet, uh, it's going to function a lot easier than it has in the past. Uh, it'll uh, make things a lot easier for you to do it that way. Uh, so uh, look at the information that's entered here. Make sure everything's there. If there's anything missing, you want to enter that. So the email address here needs to be plugged in. And so we're going to put that on here. Uh, and get that entered so we'll have all that information. Uh, with phone number here, one thing to notice uh, if you ever have to enter any phone numbers, it does require you to, to actually enter these dashes that are there between the area code and the, the telephone number, so make sure you put that in there. Uh, it'd be good if you know the, the year that your group started to make sure that's accurate for us just for our historical records, that's very helpful. Um, if your group is local to the convention site where you're going, and you will not be staying at the convention hotel and you won't book any rooms, make sure you check this box that says hotel rooms not needed. Uh, that will keep us from pestering you when we see uh, that you may not have any hotel rooms registered. Uh, we'll know that you don't need any. Uh, the uh, way that you're going to want to prefer to check in your group, if you want each person to come up to the front desk and get their own keys, uh, you'll leave it check marked as individually or if you would rather have one person check in all of the rooms for each day uh, for your group, uh, change that to group check-in and the hotel will be prepared for that. Uh, mark whether you're going to have a single group payment or uh, each room paid individually. And if your group is tax exempt, uh, if that's the location you're at, uh, make sure you have that marked. And if you, if you do uh, mark the tax exemption, and you're going to take advantage of saving that money on those, some of those taxes. You also have to do the group payment because it has to be a church check or church credit card to make that payment. So make sure if you're going to do the tax exempt, you have the group uh, payment checked as well. Uh, for puppet stages, uh, any teams that have any groups that have more than three teams, three teams or more, uh, you're asked to provide a puppet stage to be used at convention. Uh, if you'll mark the number on there, just uh, if you're going to have one or or however many it's going to be, just mark those in, in there so that we'll know, uh, that our, our coordinators will know uh, what stages are available and they will reach out to you with what you need to bring and where it needs to be set up. So um, 
wait till you hear from that coordinator before you pack it all up and bring it to the convention. They will let you know if it's needed for sure. If you're arriving in a larger vehicle, anything from a 15 passenger van up to a larger bus, uh, just make sure you uh, choose this option and enter the arrival information, the date and the time, approximate time that you're expected to arrive so that the hotel can be prepared for that and uh, be able to get you uh, parked uh, somewhere safely. Uh, then the last thing on this page that's important to us is uh, for those that are going to be staying and attending the worship service, make sure you mark that you're attending that so that we'll be, be sure to have uh, all the supplies that we need for the communion service on uh, Sunday morning. Uh, once you've entered all the information, all you have to do is just click Save Changes and you'll be taken back to the main menu page and you'll be all set for the next step, which will be entering your adults, which will be covered in the next video. Thank you so much.